welcome back. Well in the last session I made a copy of this wing and then went on to delete the polygons in this area and then from the copy I deleted everything else except that part of the geometry which I deleted from there. Now we could of course have created the geometry for there but I actually find it easier making a copy and doing it this way. Now from this geometry that we have here I also have to um, split it into two to create the aileron and the flap so we're going to make another copy of this but before I do you'll notice that our pivot is actually over here so I'm just going to pop up to our hierarchy effect pivot only and center it to the object so it goes there and then close that. I need to get this lined up with the wing so pop into the top viewport press T move that over a little bit as we're here then we can zoom in control alt middle mouse key keep it depressed and down we go middle mouse key to and across. And let's position this there and there. Alt X make it transparent. Now into our front view so that's F on the keyboard. As you can see that's where it is so it needs to come down lined up. Okay, back into our top view. Oh, let's zoom out into there and zoom back in. Over to our modify panel. We're on vertices there. Let's put it in edge mode and select these edges along here and guess what we're going to do we're going to do a connect uh, 1 99 let's zero that out move this over here there is our division so that's the aileron that's the flap we need that to be over there so pull that up there. Now it's not going to line up perfectly so we'll set it OK on there then we'll go to vertices take those vertices there just edge them that way a little bit pull them in these vertices here pull them down and then in that's that part done. Now we can make a copy so we're going to press shift and drag the copy out. Um, we'll call this one flap say OK select this one we'll give it a name aileron A -I -L -E -R -O -N. Okay, and this we'll call wing L for left. So now we can pop back to this one, go into polygon, that's our aileron. So we need this section, this section we don't need. So we need to drag this, let me just reposition this because I want to get all those end polygons in as well so let's take it from there up to there select and then press delete now we have the end of that to sort out in a moment but first of all let's go back up to our root select this move across go down 
looking for polygons remember we've got the end polygons there as well so we need to include those select that I selected them all and press delete again pop up to root um, that's selected there we'll go in effect pivot only and say it's center to the object ok with that one now let's select the aileron effect pivot only center to the object and this is playing up again so expect it to crash let's just come out of hierarchy and pop into perspective view uh, we'll sort these ends out now select this one alt x now into our edge mode deselect so what I'm wanting is that edge there press shift uh, control sorry that edge there will go down to our bridge select the tab to the right we've got two yeah we've got that in there say so ok on that up to the vertices let's select one of those and just check to make sure that it is welded and yes that's welded so we can pop up to our undo and click that so we need to do the aileron now let's zoom out a little bit come up to our root select that then pop over select edge deselect that select that one press control select the one above back down to bridge click on that send to same as before yes and do we need to check our vertices well it always pays to do so so pop in and across select one of them and let's pull it yep that's welded up to undo press that now I do need to see what they're going to be like with a turbo smooth applied so let's select this one well go up to root select that one there let's just apply a turbo smooth well you can see that's not right so let's delete that as you can see from that demonstration we definitely need to strengthen these edges first of all what I need to do is a little bit of adjustment around here because this needs to be rounded in that section there so alt X let me just put it on edge select that edge there and I'm going to pull it out to about there. This edge here needs pulling out to about there. Now if we go outside this area and we drag this across and down there like that we've selected all the edges and if we press our alt key now we can start deselecting those that we don't want to affect so that's that one and that one now wasn't that easier let's pop down to our chamfer click on that zero this out now let's click it one and two happy with that let's say OK now press Alt X again 
let's see what effect the turbo smooth has now okay let's have a quick look around now as you can see that edge there is quite tight and so is that edge there but what's the geometry like at the end that's quite good now once again mindful of the time we'll continue this in the next session okay I'll catch you later Thank you.